Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll just be doing a quick update on one of my previous videos which was the texture painting for the Blender game engine. And this update, uh, I just recently figured out how to do it a lot easier and quicker. Because normally you'd have to go into the UV editor and you wouldn't exactly get a good view of your models when you're doing it. In this one you paint it directly onto your model without worrying about the UV coordinates and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly make myself a random terrain that'll be good enough and once you've done that just give it a new material call it terrain and go to the UV image editor wait first unwrap your terrain by smart UV project and give an island margin of 0 0.03 now go to your UV image editor and give it a new image and call it whatever you want uh, terrain. Make sure it's fairly large, so something about 4,000 pixels is good. And just do that. Yep. Okay, now you can go back to your 3D view, and that's all you need to do with your UV image editor. Get your texture, give it a new one, call it terrain. Make it an image. Open up the terrain image that we made, and set it to UV. Now what you do is you go up here and add the textures that you want to paint onto it. So I'll just have three. Grass. Rock. And dirt. Make sure they're all images. And that they're set to UV. Now I'll just open up your images. Oops. This was grass and was. Yep. That was rock. Make sure you deselect all the images as well. Yep. Now what you do is with your object selected, make sure you're in textured mode and on GLSL materials, go to texture paint, press T, and come up with this sidebar here. This is your texture painting options. And then click on here, make sure it's on texture draw. You can close this, go to your texture, make sure it's fixed, and then click on your texture and select one. So here we have dirt, grass, and rock. Those are the ones that we're painting on. And it's a bit hard to see. Let me do a bigger area. There it is, except go back to your terrain, and you want to turn on color. And you can turn the specular intensity up as well. And if your computer's up for it, you can turn up the normal map. So it looks a bit more 3D like. And you can go ahead and paint. Now you turn the color off. There we go. And the intensity. And then you just go ahead and paint the texture. And you can do that for as many textures as you want. Doesn't matter. And um, turn the color on. Here you see you have your mountain being made. As this has a lot of UVs, it does take a while, and because there is a lot of um, pixels in the actual texture, then it's also going to lag a bit as you paint. But the more pixels you have, the higher resolution the image will be. If you're going to go use this terrain for something like in the distance, then you just want to keep your resolution at something like 1000, like the default. But if you're going to use this for your actual character to play on, you want to set it up to something like four or 5000. It will lag a bit, but it's the only way to have higher resolution textures. So that's all there is to it.
please subscribe, rate, comment, ask questions, etc. Thanks for watching.